Hello, thanks for tuning in and today I'm going to talk about the uh, chemical um, acids uh, for your face and skincare needs and uh, know that sometimes it can be scary to, um, you know, put acids on your face, but they're actually really safe. They're more safer than mechanical exfoliation with, you know, walnut scrubs, any sort of like beads, uh, because it doesn't, it's not abrasive to your skin, it just gently goes in and like little Pac-Man eats away those outer layer dead skin cells. Now some acids is gonna penetrate more than others. Uh, some of them um, depends on the strength and what's the goal and how they're administered. But um, let's start with salicylic acid. It's a DHA, beta hydroxy acid. It's one of the very known to help acne. So there's DHAs and then BHA. So BHA. Uh, penetrates a little bit deeper than HA um, and it's so that's why salicylic acid is so good for acne that could maybe cystic you know that's deeper there in the pore so it really cleanses out the pores now there's different strengths of these acids now the professional the salicylic uh, acid mess that we have in our office um, for facial is 20% but this home use acne gel from PCA that you can use every day it's two percent and usually often you can find anywhere for from 0.5 to two percent maybe even a little more and uh, over the counter product and that is good for everyday use now i know um well proactive had this mask that works only 0.5 percent but i think they're going low because they don't have like counter active ingredients and there's for such a broad user base um, so I wouldn't go with 0 0.5 for 0 0.5 I would only you look for 2% from from a brand that's good and it has also ingredients that are gonna you know um, counteract any sorts of sensitivity make sure that you use a sunscreen when you use any acids like salicylic so, so like acid uh, but that goes for any skincare you know <laughs> or if you don't have skincare at least you just, um, sunscreen. I think that should be no, no brainer anymore. So salicylic acid is really great. It's actually like aspirin. It's natural aspirin. So it is a little bit anti-inflammatory too. Well, um, there is willow bark extract which is a little bit resembling salicylic acid um, and that one has those properties too if you're looking to like, you know, just get these more to stay natural way. Um, let's move on to the other acid, which is glycolic acid, which is an AHA acid, which is a little lighter, so it's more on the superficial layer, but I don't like um, glycolic acid as much because for darker skin tones, it can cause hyperpigmentation, which is like counterintuitive. You know, in general, all acids are brightening, uh, and glycolic acid is brightening too, but there might be side effects where some people experience darkening of the skin and definitely you don't want that. I personally have a little bit darker skin tone and uh, I tend to have to get hyperpigmentation as especially as I got older from any sort of injury acne and so that's why I don't use I know like this from um it has glycolic acid from the practice toner so I don't recommend um as much I mean there is some good brands that have um, glycolic acid and you know it is safe for the most part but just for that little slight um, possibility that it could you know darken the skin even though it does help exfoliation, acne and brightening in general but I don't want that risk of it acting up on my skin in the opposite way that I wanted to. Um, and so the other, so that's an AHA acid. Another AHA acid, which is a little less intense as the BHA that we talked about, so silic acid, which can be used in stronger concentrations because it's a little lighter. So glycolic acid and uh, lactic acid. So that's a lactic acid. Gonna, those are AHA acids, and they can be used, you know, in higher concentrations, even in over-the-counter products. And lactic acid comes from milk, so it's you know even been used 
in the club ultra times when they used to have milk baths, right? Because it soothes us, it exfoliates the skin. It's really good if people even have like keratosis pilaris or a keratosis on their body, you can put that. Now this toner from um, PCA has um, lactic acid, it also has citric acid, which brings us, you know, that there's other acids and it has other great botanicals in here. So, lactic acid is really safe for face, like I said, and I recommend highly lactic acid to have it in toner. Uh, and also, it helps fight buck force and acne as well, and it brightens the skin. Uh, now, the other um, great acid is um, is our is C vitamin C, is L ascorbic acid. Now, it is a little unstable, and most products cannot be trusted or companies the way they produce this C vitamin. This one is C and E advanced with hexyl, resorcinol, and silymarin. It's a great product, and I trust PCA that they know how to preserve vitamin C, but in general, you don't want to mix that as much with other acids if you're using. So, using this at morning, um, at night, do other acid. Don't use this together with, you know, let's say, salicylic acid in this because they kind of. Vitamin C, like I said, it's very unstable. It gets destroyed pretty quickly as it gets exposed to the air or other acids. But it is great for your skin. You know, it is even in skin tone, complexion. So I love that. And there is other acids. There's kojic acid for evening the skin tone. There's the citric acid, like I mentioned, and this. Together, with lactic acid is a um, a naturally found. In. So citric acid, so lactic is in milk. Citrus is found. In. Citric acid is found in citrus fruits, and um, some. So a professional product is going to have like stronger conservation. Like peel like this PCA peel with um, hydroquinone or sorcinol has. Um, 14% lactic, 14% salicylic, 3% kojic, and has it has yes. sorginal, and you know, so um, you can uh, definitely um, enjoy all the benefits mixing those acids, but like I wouldn't put the C after you use uh, those right away. So I don't use that as much, but it is a great acid. and. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and are you using any acids and have you used them for a while and which is your favorite and which which products are you using that has acids that you know of. Um, I really enjoy these products because I have an oilier skin which is very acne prone for the most part so those acids have been safer for me. Another important thing to mention. Um, the black, the acids that are in high concentrations, let's say like smoothing body peel, this is great for like again KP. This one has 45% lactic acid and it has salicylic acid 10% and uh, trichloroacetic acid TCA, which is really great for fine, fine lines and wrinkles. Um, and again, told you guys. So. Um, you know, I know in dermatologists uh, our offices they even use acids up to 70%. So it really, but you know, don't do that at home. Don't buy just like a peel of Amazon and do it at home because you could damage your dermis, it could penetrate too deep, you could cause scarring, and you don't want that. Have you gotten a peel? Would you get a peel? Let me know in the comments down below. And in general, acids are going to be anti-aging because as you get rid of that dead skin layer, you renew the glow of your skin. So if you want glow, you want to use acid. And uh, please don't forget to click like. I hope you, if you like, I hope you do this video. I hope I'm not like being hard to understand or rambling too much. Um, but if you do have if you have questions and um, or any other ideas, please share in the comments down below. I really appreciate that. Please follow me on Instagram at Yulita Brilliant. And if you want to purchase of that any or have a free constellation or purchase any of the products that's good for your skin, featuring PCA products, we have at our spa, Brilliant Massage and Skin. 
don't uh, hesitate to get in touch and I'll see you soon. Have a brilliant day. Bye.